Joker 2 trailer just dropped and I just couldn't resist myself. Usually I'm not the one to do topical videos, but I just, I couldn't resist. I had to do it. This is not prepared at all. So it's gonna be pretty raw, so forgive me for that. It's just me reacting to it. As a professional colorist, I just wanna go through this journey with you, have my scopes open, and just say a few things, whatever comes to my mind. So this is how we're gonna take it. First shot, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, okay, like, I mean, they're kind of going with warmer tones. So this is more like on the on the green yellow side and we can see it in our vector scope. Looks delicious. Moving on with this shot. And then all of a sudden, like right here, I'm just like, okay, this is unlike Joker because in Joker, when it came to looking at Arthur, like our main character, it was either all these very muted tones like desaturated if the skin tones were proper or they were under a certain light. And guys, if I sound really crazy right now, it's because I'm about like two months away from getting my braces off. So they put like buttons inside my mouth, like on the other side behind my teeth. And they're literally cutting up my tongue. So it's like every time I say a single word, it destroys me. So when I'm looking at this, like I, I kind of went, I'm like, holy hell, like this skin tones look very natural and it has a certain warmth. Why is that? And then I go to this shot and I'm looking at it. And what came to my mind is like, I'm like, okay, they're really, really adding tons of warmth around her. I mean, just look at the vector scope. So it's like, why isn't he as warm? But she is. And obviously you can make an argument that, hey, the lighting in the room is like that. I get it. But still, you're going to start seeing that every time she shows up, she's under that color. And then when he's by himself, he's like this. And now you guys can make a counter argument that he's outside, it's raining, blah, blah, blah. It shouldn't look like this. And if I just take my global right here, and all I'm doing is I'm just like looking at what's happening here and I'm gonna counter that. So I'm gonna go in the opposite direction and I'm just gonna do something like that. So if I do that and if I do before and after, you guys can see how we just like pull the skin exactly where it's supposed to be. And it wasn't that hard. And like, look, there's enough separation and all the things. And that's the inclination for every amateur. When you're starting out in this business, you're always going to go here because clients are also going to freak out. Like you need somebody like Todd Phillips, somebody who is truly a director, a creator to want that and to have Jill Bogdanovich, best of the best to go get that. Then to have Lawrence Schur to shoot it a certain way and you end up with something like that. And they're going there. They know what's happening. And this is not sitting on the skin tones and none of that matters. They're trying to create a look. And that's the thing that people miss. If you're one of those that always say, I like Rec 709 better. It just shows that you're a beginner. It doesn't say anything about like, you know, you know about color grading or anything like that because 100% of the time when it comes to commercials, when it comes to music videos, and when it comes to movies, there is no such thing as Rec 709. If you are a beginner, you're gonna end up here. Even this looks great, just because under the hood, it's Jill's color, I'm just like balancing it. But that's what she went for. You know what's funny is like, look at the umbrellas here, and they're all black, and then we go to this shot, and all of a sudden it's like all different colors. So I'm assuming like that's where we kind of go into a soundtrack or something that's happening. Even these shots, I feel like are more saturated than how they were in the first one. Everything is just a little bit more pushed, almost like this is present time and Joker one, that was a period piece. And it's like, as he's getting closer to her, he's getting color in his life, right? And that's what we're seeing here because before it wasn't as colorful. So if I go here, he's coming into her glow. He's coming into her world but here he is there these are the decisions that we get paid for otherwise like an editor can just slap a lot and be done with it our job is to create that subliminal message help with it really take you through that journey and make you feel something and the feeling comes from that like all of a sudden you're kind of feeling warm and fuzzy by doing these breakdowns my goal is to give you permission to go out there and like really push your grades. Look at the vector scope. What the hell is going on with the vector scope? Like, look how pushed this is. This is good. Now, if somebody goes here and just says, nah, man, like the real ones will keep it here, right? Because the other one was too saturated. It doesn't look cinematic. Like really Joker is the pinnacle. This is what cinema is all about. They're going there. It's all about the perfect dance between contrast, lighting, cinematography, composition, grading, art direction, set design, 
all these things need to come together to form what we're witnessing on screen. I mean, what's more powerful than like a guy who's just chilling on a couch, having dinner, sees on YouTube that a new trailer for Joker just came out, watches it, gets off his freaking comfy couch and just goes, I'm going to make a video about this. I need to share this. Like this is powerful. Like this is why we do what we do because everything else just pays the bills. Working on a corporate video, they want a clean look. You try to do the first artsy thing, they freak out. You might lose that client. Cool. I mean, it pays the bills. I'll do it. I'm not going to complain about it. But it's projects like these that inspire people to become colorists. Just want to take a second to let you guys know how much I love you. I'm doing a massive discount on my masterclass. You can get $400 off if you join right now. Use the coupon code YouTube fam. Link is in the description to take advantage of the offer. Join a community with over 6,500 colorists. And unless you're living under a rock, you've seen these names before. You follow these guys. They all graduated from FCM. So now it's your time to become a member. Link is in the description. And let's get back to the video. Like, look at the juice, how pushed this image is. And nothing is cracking, nothing is breaking. A lot of that is lighting. Okay, like look at where these lights are sitting. Nothing is blowing out. I promise you, like Jill is not like creating windows for each of these things. That is not to take anything away from Jill. But I'm just saying Lawrence Scher is pulling his weight and that's really bringing it all together. All right, that's another shot, right? So like if we come here and we park it here, look at how pushed it is. Look at the colorized waveform that the entire image is just made of this one color, right? And we can see it in our vector scope too. Like the whole thing just sits in this quadrant. But I'm looking at the shirt and I'm like, oh man, can I just make it a little bit more neutral like where it should be? So obviously I'm just going to go in the opposite direction, not too much. But I'm going to, even if I go something like that, and if I do before and after, you can see how much of that I brought back. Like if I park it somewhere around here and I can go, oh my God, like I kind of, got that tint out of my shot, but then it doesn't have the same personality anymore. Look at the skin tones, okay, where the skin tones are sitting. So if I click right here and go to qualifier and hover over, let's click on these three dots and turn on display qualifier focus. And if I go back and hover over, look at where the skin is sitting. Now, most of the people would say, I like to keep my skin tones right here, around here, in terms of saturation. And obviously this is the skin indicator line, so it should be right here. It should not be sitting up here, but it is. And I buy it and I love it and I prefer that. That's the permission that we all need. Looking at the best work out there and then going, oh my God, okay. Like these guys like really push it, man. Let's see where her skin sits. Her skin barely has any saturation and that is probably because of like her character and especially like the transformation that she's going through. So we saw a lot of warmth in the beginning and now the transformation is happening and she's becoming Harley Quinn. Look at how the red pops. If I just go here and if I put it to this and if I grab this red, this red should be somewhere around here with like where everything else is sitting. This red should not be here. And that's because she is actually qualifying it, selecting that red and popping it. If I just look at this and like look at the amount of color that we have here, there's so much skin separation from the background, something that we did not have in the other one. Look at where the skin tone is sitting. Like if I hover over, it's sitting too much to the left. If I want to correct it, I would like go and do a little bit of that. And now if I hover over, it's like right in the middle. And I don't mean correct it, like correct like what Jill has done. Like obviously this sort of gunky yellowish green is the theme of Joker. So they're keeping it in that world and they don't want to make it sterile. Highlights always have that warmth and usually you get that warmth of the 2383 print. So you see like how in my parade, like the yellow drops and then the green and the red set up there. And we can see that here. So that's exactly what's going on. I mean, I, I went to school for cinematography, so I'm just thinking about it from like Lawrence Scher's perspective to work on a project like that is just, it, it's literally every cinematographer's dream. Look at the vector scope. It is absolutely wild, man. 
looks so beautiful. Like, look at this rich blue. Even this, like, you guys remember, like, the first time he's sitting with this psychiatrist and having a conversation? Like, how different that looked compared to this? This has so much more life. It's almost like, and he even seems more confident. He has purpose now. And that's because he is not alone anymore. And he says that in the trailer. And they're showing that through color. Like these shots are so money. They're so money. They're so perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful skin tones. But once again, if I come here, I'm just looking at his shirt and my, my hands are itching. My brain is itching. I just want to go in there and I want to take that, go in the opposite direction. And just even like if I park it somewhere around here and I get close and I do before and after, I just pulled out like all of that blue. And majority of the time if you end up here and if i post this if i'm not company three and if i'm not jill and if i'm not tom pool if i post this like on my page everybody's just going to be like hey forgot to grade bro like what is going on like why didn't you do this and it's because this is grading guys like that's why i'm like showing you all these examples to really help you develop that taste bud that is necessary to get away from like natural and start entering the territory of like a true creative. Like, look at this. This is something that will make me probably go, let me bring that in. I'm gonna create a similar look. Let me bring it in and like really see what's happening under the hood. And then I'm gonna go, oh, okay, 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 okay. I see what she's doing. She's actually not protecting her neutral tones, like her white. She's like letting the teal bleed into it. She's letting that bleed into the skin tones. It's absolutely beautiful. I like it more than what I just did. First of all, what a freaking shot, man. What a shot. But more importantly, like, look at this. If I hover over and show you the, where the skin tones are sitting, what the, this is his skin tones. When we look at it, we would want to kind of, even something like that. I would just want to be like, well, guys, are you guys happy with this? Like, doesn't it kind of do the same job? And then we can just not have this because... I don't know, what if I post it and somebody on Reddit murder me and send somebody after my family? I get carried away. But uh, this is what they went with. This is Joker. This is the signature. Now let's quickly look at the first one, the trailer for Joker 1. And like right off the bat, you'll start seeing a couple of different things. Way cooler tones, right? Like we don't have that warmth. If I go here, this scene was this right here. Like, look at that. Even the contrast is like very gentle. And I always thought with Joker 1, the contrast was so pushed, but not compared to the second one. But that doesn't mean anything is crushed. Even this shot was like so much juicier in the second one. So this is from the first one. It's like he has no purpose. Life is horrible. Terrible things are happening to him. Compared to, there's just so much more color and it's so much more saturated and juicier. Crazily pushed in terms of contrast colors. Nothing is cracked everything is held together and that all starts with cinematography and lighting and then colorist job is to just like literally take it the extra mile and just enhance directors and cinematographers vision as much as they can in post and that's the ideal marriage between production and post I'm speechless this is actually one of my favorite frames so I should just like leave it on that I have a huge announcement we're bringing in a new person that will be making videos alongside me on this channel. Her name is Marietta and she is an absolutely killer colorist. She just wrapped up her first video and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So be on the lookout for that. Be nice. She is also part of FCM fam. So she's swimming in the Kool-Aid. Let me know in the comment section below what jumped out to you and why. Because I feel like my purpose of making tutorials on this channel is to spread the taste making aspect of color grading. I don't necessarily care about like too much of like the under the hood stuff. Like that comes naturally once you get into a certain field. But I think what's more important is like for us to be inspired to do something. And these are the topics and things that make people inspired and put that fire under them to go out there and create. And having that conversation is very important. So I would love to actually hear from you guys. Drop your comments down below. I will see you guys in the next video.